Never use this again and start using this. This is the easiest and best automatic furnace that can also give you XP. So for this, you only need four items. Yes, four items, and they're extremely easy to get. You have two sticks, 12 chests, 30 iron ingots, and 18 cobblestone. And if you get hungry, don't forget to bring some food. And I'm always hungry. So now that you've got your materials, you can now craft your items. Go to your crafting bench. And the first thing we want to craft is six hoppers. So click on this, collect the six hoppers, bam. Next craft two furnaces, bingo. And the last thing you need to craft are two levers. And there we go. So now that we've got our materials, we can now start building. So place a double chest right here. Behind the double chest, place two hoppers. Now this is very important that you do correctly. So the hoppers need to be connected to the chest. To do so, go behind the chests like so. When you're behind the chest, press the crouch button. So you're crouching and it looks like you're actually selecting one side of the chest and then place down the hoppers. If you've done it correctly, it will look like this. Like you can see right here, it is connected to the chest. Next, place the two furnaces on top of the hopper. To do so, you will have to crouch again while placing for it to work like so. Then place the two levers on the furnaces like so while you're crouching again. Next, we will place the remaining hoppers. So to do so, we go to the back of this construction and we want to connect the hoppers at the back of these furnaces. So we crouch again, press the place button and as you can see, we have successfully connected them. The next two hoppers are going to be on top of the furnaces. There's not a lot that you can do wrong here. So just place them while you're crouching. One. Two. Now the last thing we have to do is place the chests. Now we are going to place two double chests on top of these two hoppers at the back. We do this also by crouching. So the first one is placed and then we go to the side here. It's a double chest and the last chest is placed on top of here. We have now successfully completed the machine, as you can see. Okay, so the top chest is where you put your food or the items you want to be burned. Let's say I wanna burn sand, I wanna burn the raw beef, I wanna burn the raw beef, raw beef, raw beef. And the chest at the back is where you put the things you are going to use to fuel the furnace. So lava buckets, coal, lava bucket, lava bucket, whatever you wanna use, you can use wood etc etc and now as you can see here it's already working so basically what happens is the furnace works and as you can see it is not being dragged over here but it is actually falling in this chest now what are the levers for the levers are actually for a specific reason so if we press this that means it means that the item is going to stay inside here, as you can see here. And this is the part where you can actually get XP from it. So I put the lever on this one down. That means it has stopped putting it in the chest. And that means we can actually now gain XP from taking out the items that are actually being burnt. Now you can go off and do whatever you want and just come back. And if you need XP, you can just take out the items like so. And as you saw right here on the bottom, I have actually gained XP from this. So anytime you need XP, you can just go to the furnace and take out the items and you will gain XP. Subscribe!